Tom Day Show. Starring Lucille Ball. <laughs> is a lady, Mrs. Lucy Carmichael. Mrs. Carmichael? <laughs> now, tell us something about yourself, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, I'm a housewife and I have two children. No, no, no. <laughs> not get that close to the microphone. Just oh. sit right here and we'll talk normally. Oh. Now, uh, tell us about this new talent you discovered. Well, I, uh, I discovered my new talent in Mr. Krause's butcher shop. <laughs> well, that's very unusual, finding a star in a butcher shop. Well, I, uh, I noticed that whenever I went into Mr. Krause's butcher shop, he would shake hands with all the customers and catch frankfurters in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krause? Oh, his dog. <laughs> oh, I, I see. Mr. Krause has a trained dog. His name is Beauty, and he does so many tricks. He can, he can walk on his front paws, and he dances on his hind legs, and when Mr. Krause plays the harmonica, he howls like the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, tell me, if uh, you're Mr. Krause and his dog, should win our first prize. What do you intend to do with your half of the hundred dollars? Have my plumbing fixed. <laughs> well, I guess that's a very practical use. <laughs> yes, the hot water comes out of the cold water faucet, and the cold water comes out of the hot water faucet, and nobody ever comes out of the bathroom. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, here's another talent discovery. Mr. Krauss and his trained dog, Beauty. <laughs> For his first trip, Beauty is going to shake hands with his trainer. Go ahead, Mr. Krause. Shake hands. Shake hands. Shake hands. <laughs> shake hands. Uh, what's the matter, Mr. Krause? You having trouble? Uh, maybe it's the lights and everything. Uh, the people, it makes them feel strange. Yes, it, it could. It could make them feel strange. Yeah, it made me feel strange. I feel fine now, but I can imagine what it's going to do. Try it again, Mr. Krause. <laughs> yes. Shake hands. Shake hands. Oh, he went through his legs. Did you see that? Now, ladies and gentlemen, now, ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen Beauty will show how a courageous dog can help the whole community battle crime. When do you see him do this? Yeah. Now, the dummy that they are bringing in is supposed to be a burglar. Now, watch how the dog attacks the burglar at the command of his trainer. Go ahead, Mr. Krause. Watch this now. Attack the burglar. Attack the burglar. Get him! <laughs> This is Carmichael. If you finish playing the anvil chorus, <laughs> would you explain the emergency that made you drag me away from the bank? Well, I'm having trouble with my plumbing. 
And Mrs. Carmichael, any normal woman faced with that situation, would send for a plumber, not a banker. Oh, I know that. If you're going to get a plumber, you need a banker. <laughs> Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. I have had such a time. I don't know what's wrong here. I've been trying to fix it myself. <laughs> what's the matter, lady? Have you ever seen a plumber before? <laughs> you know that you look exactly now, like... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Will you stop that already? But you do. Look, every place I go, people tell me that I look exactly like him. Yes, you do. Yeah, well, look, and I'm not him. My name is Tuttle, Harry Tuttle. Look, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're amazingly like him. You look enough like him to be his twin. Look, you're paying me by the hour, see? And I want to give you a service. I don't want to give you a conversation. Now, where's the leak, lady? <laughs> Well, it's not a leak, uh, but uh, the pipes are mixed up in the sink. Well, I'll get to that right away. You know, I didn't mean to get so mad, lady, but you know what bugs me? What? Three billion people in the world, and I got to look like him. <laughs> well, I should think you'd be happy to look like Jack Benny. He's very popular in banking circles, you know. I've uh, done business with him myself many times. Oh, does he have money in your bank? He has money in every bank. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> well, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> You know that very unusual? <laughs> what happens if you turn on both faucets at once? I don't know. I never tried that. Let's see. license on account of him. Why not? When they give me an application, every time I put down my age, they throw me out. Why? Because I'm really 39. <laughs> well, 
Well, you know, now that I look at you closer, you look much younger than Jack Benny. Thank you. <laughs> but you know why they think you both look alike? Why? Because you both have blue eyes. Mine are bluer. <laughs> Lady, hand me that plunger, will you please? Sure. <laughs> I can't get this thing to budge. Yeah, I'm sorry I slammed it down so hard, but that's what happens every time I get mad at you. Really? Yeah. Well, look at a little, a little water will loosen that. Up. Yeah, be careful with those faucets. Now, look at, don't tell me my business. You know, I'm a plumber. I know what. Oh, okay. I just I'll have that fixed up. Don't worry about it. Gee, I think I see what's wrong with it right away. I think I got it now. Check it for some more leaks. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that plunger. Oh, don't worry about it. How much is the bill? There it is. I only charge you six dollars for my services. Oh, well, that sounds very reasonable. Thank you. Twelve dollars for my plunger. Twelve <laughs> dollars for an ordinary plunger? Well, when you return it, I'll refund your money. Oh, okay. Well. It'll probably get loose when the weather's a little warmer. <laughs> well, goodbye. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Will you go out in the garage and get that big crowbar for me? Okay. <laughs> I began to look like him. 
By the time I reached maturity, I was finished as a musician. But I just heard you play. You play beautifully. I know. That's not easy when your hands are in water all day. <laughs> I still shudder when I think of my symphonic debut with a grown man. What happened? Was at the Philharmonic. I remember I walked to the center of the stage and I fell flat on my face. You tripped over your curls? <laughs> no. I mean, the audience laughed at me because I looked so much like him. Oh. They made fun of me. Oh, that must have been very embarrassing. I'm not used to having people laugh at me. <laughs> From then on, it was the same every concert I played. So you had to become a plumber, huh? Yeah. To think that these hands have gone from Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms to Saint Sewers and Cesspool. <laughs> well, have you ever tried to change your appearance so you don't look like him? Yeah. Once I tried. I tried growing a mustache. Then I looked like Hitler. <laughs> Even that was better than looking like him. My mother made me shave it off. She's saving it with my curls. <laughs> well, have you ever tried a beard? A beard? Yeah, you know, lots of musicians wear them. Mitch Henderson, Mitch Miller. Yeah, but I'm afraid I'm the nervous type. I'm afraid with a beard I'd be scratching all the time. Oh, don't be silly. Do Skitch and Mitch itch? <laughs> career all over again. I wouldn't know where to begin. Me? I would. Did you ever see a television show called the Talent Discoverer Show? Yeah. I watch it all the time. You think I can get on it? I think you could, yes. Now, don't you worry about a thing. It may take a little doing, but I'll do it. I'll take care of all the details. You are going to be on their next show. <laughs> Discoverer show. Our uh, first talent discoverer this evening is a young lady, Miss Lucretia Carmucci. Miss Carmucci. <laughs> say you look vaguely familiar. How's it that? <laughs> I said you look familiar. Ha <laughs> ha! you Americanos. All the time you're giving the girls the same old line. Have we a man of big four someplace? Ah, I know nobody. It's just to come here from Italia. From Italy? Si. Un piacere di conoscerla. Ah, That's not a nice thing to say in front of all these people. Oh, well, I was really saying it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, I know what you say, but it's the way you say it, you little know. <laughs> Miss Carmucci, will you tell us about the uh, talent you play? Well, he's a player very nice to violin. Oh, he's a violinist. No, he's a plumber. <laughs> He's a plumber. <laughs> oh, a plumber. plumber. That's what I say, plumber. <laughs> well, what's his name? His name is Harry Tudley. <laughs> oh, yes. It's Harry Tuttle, ladies and gentlemen. Harry Tudley. Well, that's what right. I 
Very interesting. <laughs> Cover Violet. Is he good? Is he good? He's a wonder. So he sits in my class in five minutes. <laughs> As a violinist. Oh, well, why you no give him a listen and find out, huh? Well, fine, fine. That's very good. Uh, what is he going to play? He's going to play a nice arrangement of Gistiades by Donatello. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lucretia Carmucci's talent discovery, Mr. Harry Tuttle. Wonderful. Don't be nervous. Gracias. Prego, prego, prego. If you please, the maestro. Audrey. I'm expecting the plumber. Yeah, I did have my pipes fixed, but he's coming over this morning to check on them. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at the... Oh, that's him now. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Carmichael. You're not angry at me, are you, Mr. Tuttle? Yeah, I should say not. You know, thanks to your getting me on TV, offers have been pouring in all morning. Oh, for concerts and nightclubs? No, kitchens and bathrooms. <laughs> Well, I'd better take a look at this now. You only got offers to do plumbing, huh? Yeah, but I've had so many offers, I'll be the happiest plumber in town. Oh. <laughs> I've gotten so much business, I even had to hire an assistant. Oh, is that so? Well, that's nice. It sure is. I'll get it. Hey, Irving. Irving, bring in my tools. <laughs> know that you look exactly like... Look, please don't start that, will you? Where's the leak, boss? Right over here. <laughs> right there, right there. What's the matter, lady? Haven't you ever seen an assistant plumber before? <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.